Hello Georgia Pants here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, it is. I did use masks to hide all the lines that I didn't want you to see. Which is quite an easy one. Bit of colouring as you can tell. To make this card I used the stamp sets. Time for tea. There was the cup. Vibrant vases and we use the flowers here and this vase and humming along and we use the sentiment hope you feel better soon really soon the colours I've chosen to make this card is balmy blue so the card base is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths fold in half and scored couldn't find me bone folder then Um, you need two pieces of white cardstock, one for the inside and one for the front at three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. A piece of the new Gingham DSP, and this is balmy blue, and this measures three and three quarters by five and a half. A piece of yeah. A piece of blue cardstock at three and three quarters by three. A piece of white cardstock at three and five eighths by two and seven eighths. And I've chosen to do circles for my sentiment. And this is the first circle in the layering circles and the scalloped circle which will go there. So let's get stamping. Need that, that. Oh and I've done the inside bit already. I'll stamp that afterwards. On this one I put a cup of tea. So on this we need Memento Black Ink and the cup. Right, the cup I don't want ink on the top bit so just put ink on the saucer and not on the top bit and I'll place that there flowers and we'll place the first flower there and now I've already cut my mask but you'll need some masks you'll need a mask of the cup and two masks of the flower Right, we're going to put another flower just there and I think that should have been yeah don't put the mask of the cup yet let me see if I can line this up I think I've missed it Oh no. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll mask that flower. And put one at the top of it. back on, put the cup on and grab our vase 
and we're going to pop the vase behind the cup. Oh no. Yeah, that looks right. What we need though is my rubber to get this off. Two stamps I just used. Right, we've got the bunch of flowers to go in this vase. side and now we've got to get this sentiment on the circle and I've cut the wrong size. Oh dear. Sure it's the wrong size. Yeah. Oops. I don't know why I've cleaned that. Right, find a scrap of white. Needs cutting out. Let me get the dies. So, which one did I use? Was it that one? No. So it must have been this one. Yeah, fancy that. So it must be this is yeah. Oh, one's gone on the floor. All right. Doing really well there, but obviously not. Right, that's that one. And because I don't have any blue with me, I am going to take the scallop out of the middle of the backing of the picture on. Yeah. 
burnt. That was a quick put my scrap back, put that back. Now I've just got to remember I dropped one on the floor to pick it up afterwards. Let me take a drink. Right back to our our flower and our inside piece that is stamped on the first round of this card. Get our box of marker pens. And somebody did comment on my box that I made for my marker pens. I don't store them this way. When they're put in the cupboard, I store them flat like this with the lid on, obviously. So I just put them this way when I'm using them. Right, to colour these flowers in, I'm going to bring you down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Right. Right, we'll colour the vase first, and I did that in sea foam. And all I did was went round the leaves. And I did the leaves in a bluey colour, but oh yeah, it was this colour. So this is light Bermuda Bay. flowers or the leaves on the plant I did in odd olive this is working nice now because I um, re-inked it and the flowers I went in blue but I only went just the bottom half of the petals And then I just picked this one, pumpkin pie, just for the centre dots. For the cup, I just went round the edges in grey. Smoky slate light. All I did was followed the lines round in smoky slate. Under the flowers. I also did the same on this one. Might 
that's what I'll do them both while we've got the cup out, no, pen out. side as well as the cup. Then I got the colour lifter and just blended that in with the paper. Someone asked me if the colours bleed. Well they don't if you use memento ink. use Memento Black Ink, uh, they don't bleed. This just ages the cup up a bit. I wouldn't go too close to the edge with this colour lifter because it could affect the black lifting the black up off the edge that just ages the cup a bit Just got these flowers to colour. Right, I used lovely lipstick on once on about three, I think, of the flowers. doing them in the same order as I did the other ones. And oh, this one. Right, and I did of yellow ones This one is yellow as well. And then I used a pink. Let's colour this one pink. Mango Melody. Let's do an orange over the top of that because I don't like that yellow. Let's colour this one again. Let's 
pizza and let's have what colour is this? Oh no, we don't want it too dark. Um oh, the colour flower, heather. Highland heather. Rich raspberry. Highland heather. Let's have a bit of purple in there. There we are. Right, here's out the way. And now we can put this card together. So, with some glue. Oh. Glue the back of this. Right, let's attach this, don't need that bit, to the card front. And also attach this to the scallop edge. that put on it was so we'll put these on with dimensionals put a great big line on inside. Ah, I know what. Right, with my black fine line of pen, I drew three wavy lines to represent heat coming off the hot cup of tea. Cup of tea fixes everything. Place this down in the bottom right hand corner. One thing about the checks, you can follow it and you're near enough got it straight. Provided you glued your paper down straight. And this just sits up here. And I've done it again. Um, I don't know. 
I thought I'd put a dimensional where it ran over. And now we just, I have, haven't I? I have. So this one. Needs to come off. And a bit of glue put on. Now for some gems, we are going to put on some silver button things. And I'm just going to put three of these up here. Top right hand corner. Again, the checks come in handy to keep the lines of your gem straight. Oh, there you have it. If you like this card, please give us a thumbs up. Um, oh, that's going to fall. Sorry. Please give us a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, if you wish to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thank you for visiting hope to see you again soon bye